as tonight, three men from Derby are still trapped in Afghanistan, almost two months after the Taliban swept to power. They're all British citizens who went out to try and bring their Afghan families back here. A leading city councillor says they are facing an increasingly desperate struggle to get out. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Trapped in a country where a new regime is suffocating hopes and dreams, girls banned from going to school, dissenters facing brutal punishment. It shows a man being executed. Baggy Shankar's in daily contact with a friend who's sending him harrowing evidence from Afghanistan, one of two Derby businessmen who've asked him for help after failing to get out. He's seen uh, beheadings on the streets. Uh, the Taliban are going round uh, rooting people out from their homes, whether they've got any links to the UK or the US. He knows lots of families who are actually giving their children away to, to wealthier families because they just can't afford to bring them up and feed them. He spent hours outside the airport trying to get a British evacuation flight and a car mechanic from Derby was there for several days. He's told the British government that he didn't make it out. It's very, very hard. You know, you don't know your enemy. They're searching the houses. They take the normal people for, you know, for some no reason. Every single day there is a lot of problem. You know, killing people, uh, shooting people, food crisis. If I'm come back to Derby, you know, I think maybe I feel I'm in, uh, like, uh, paradise, you know, <laughs> from here. I pay for the ticket as well for my family. But just take me out from this hell, you know. It's really worrying. Back in Derby, Councillor Shankar's working with local MPs to try to help the men he knows, but he's worried they've been forgotten. Just doesn't seem to be any hope of them getting out of Afghanistan themselves, let alone their families, and they get more worried as days go by. Of course, the British government doesn't have a presence in Afghanistan anymore, so realistically, what can the British government do? I think they can work with the Taliban and get more flights out of Afghanistan. And failing that, I think there should be safe routes and safe passages into neighbouring countries. But as those neighbouring countries close their borders to the Taliban regime, that's easier said than done. And it's a nightmare that looks far from over. Jeremy's here in the studio. I mean, we, we heard there what the government could be doing, but what are they doing? Well, and they say they are still doing all they can to get people out safely. And I've had a statement today from the Foreign Office which says they're asking British nationals there to register online. They're working with other countries to secure safe evacuation routes. They've already brought 15,000 people out of Afghanistan safely. British nationals Afghans who work for the British and some of their immediate families too. The problem though is it's obviously becoming much more difficult as the airport and the borders have closed. Mm. I mean, it does sound as though a lot's being done. So, so why are these Derby men in such dire straits? First of all, they did take a risk by going out to rescue their families because although the Taliban weren't in control yet, the British government advice was against all travel mm to Afghanistan right back in April. The other problem they've got is that most of these family members have Afghan nationality, which means they don't have an automatic right to come here. Now, what they're having to do is wait for the government resettlement scheme to open. That scheme is going to have limited places. So the upshot is, I reckon, potentially a, a very difficult choice for these three men between staying put in Afghanistan with their families or coming home without them. What a horrible choice to have to make, Jeremy. Thanks very much for that.